Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here with my card inspiration using the Simon Says Stamps holiday release for our video hop. For my card I'm using three items that go together, the first one being the layered tree dies, and this is all the pieces and parts that go to the stamp set layered trees. And also the stencil which is the layered tree parts, which you can use as a drop shadow or color in your images. So here is my card. I have started off with Nina White cardstock and I've die cut all the pieces and parts. If you can see this up close. I've also used some of the distress paints and for this one I believe I used the forest moss. And I'll go ahead and get this out. So I just cut out the pieces and then painted them, let them dry. And once they were completely dry then I got the distress crackle paint rock candy and I allowed that to go ahead and dry and crackle. And once that was dry, I went in with a little bit of picket fence paint to add some snow. For the background of my card, I used this falling snow stencil with some embossing paste, and this made a really nice snowy effect, and it's kind of raised and very soft. I also used the curve edge steel die to cut the corner, and then I added some Tim Holtz uh, holiday paper, and also stamped my greeting on a little piece of paper, and raised everything up with dimensional foam dots. I couldn't help myself, but I went ahead and played with some neon inks and did kind of a graphic type tree using the same stamps and also using the stencil. So I started by using my little sponge daubers and the Hero Arts neon inks and I used my stencil to color in the areas of the tree. And so I just used all the little pieces and made my tree. And here's how I did the next step. I wanted to add polka dots using kind of a coordinating color, so I used the stencil again to mask off each of the areas and added little polka dots with the circle stamp. And now I'm adding in the black outline, and the black really contrasts against the neon colors. For this, I'm really not going to worry about perfect stamping, I just want to get that black outline. So I'll be changing my stamp to fit each of these little boxes in between each of my stampings. And I am using the black archival ink from Ranger because it's the perfect ink to go ahead and stamp over other inks. To finish up my tree I'm using the solid stem and I have just used regular black and I'll show you this up close how everything is so bright and contrasting. It's really kind of a fun difference for a holiday card. So here are my two cards together, one with a homespun look and the other with a really modern bright look. I just love the differences that you can get with the same supplies, but maybe changing up your inks or paints. That concludes my portion of the holiday hop, and now I'll send you off to my little buddy, Jennifer McGuire. Enjoy the day!